Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. So I just finished training my morning clients there and I'm just closing up the studio now before we head to the gym. In today's video, I'm gonna be letting you a lot more into my mindset during training, um, mainly during today because today is a deadlift session and that's kind of when I have a bit more focus and I use, and I go a lot deeper into my head than probably I do during other sessions, although it is still there. So I think it'll be quite interesting because mindset's something I really enjoy talking about. So let's just get to the gym now. Okay, so what I normally do before a session is I'll sit at the table, just one's at the side of the gym, and I'll listen to some music, I'll drink a monster normally or whatever I need to drink I have, just a pre-workout. And um, if I train clients in the morning, usually I only have like a shake before that, but I get here and I'm pretty hungry and I don't like training on an empty stomach, so I'll get a protein bar or a snack bar or something just to fill me up, drink a bit of water, and just get myself in that like that frame of mind, listen to some music that gets me a bit more hype before I go into my warm up and get me in the right mindset. I'll drink this, then we'll head through and we'll start warming up for the session. All right, so I've done a bit of mobility warming up. Just I always do some light squats and just uh, swinging my legs out a bit just to get the joints moving. Then what we do is we start working our way up. So very lightly, starting off just with 60 kilos all the way up to about 150 because we're working with 195 today for doubles. So as I start building up, what I'll do is I kind of get in my mindset a wee bit more and more. So that always comes, especially with the music. So it's kind of like mental cues, what I'll start with is some like decent songs, just general like chart music and that, and then build up and build up into stuff that really gets me going. So when we get to our warm up set, that's when I'll start, you know, applying the chalk, I'll get my belt on and we go from there. Alright guys, so this is us going into our final warm-up set of 160 kilos before our final working set. Now this is vital, this is where I start to crank things up. I get some music playing that gets me hyped, I get a bit more amped, I focus more because you need this to move quickly. This is your confidence booster before your final working set. If this moves slow, you can lose that strong mentality. So you've got to treat it just like it's your first working set. You need it to move quickly. So let's go. Alright, so that uh, 160 felt quality. Going to 195 now. This is where you really, I really crank it up. So that was me 
you know, focus in, really make sure I lift the bar up with power, try and move it quickly. Now, I've got that belief there. You've got to walk up to it and believe you're going to get it. I'm confident I'm going to get this first set. The first set's so important because that sets the tone. If Once you get the first one out of the way, you know you can get up. And after that, you've just got to keep focused and keep believing. So, let's get 195 on the bar. Let's see how this first set goes. But once I got going, it did move. So I know what these next four sets are going to be like. They're going to be hard. They're going to be brutal. And this is where you've got to, what I always say to my clients and what I say to myself, drag, your, drag it out of you. You've got to get through this and battle it. Absolutely battle it. Deadlift is probably the most, you know, mental exercise you can get. Because, as I said it before, if you don't believe that you're going to get it, don't even bother. So I've got to use and channel all this is where i go really deep really deep in my head to you know probably sounds a bit cringy but darker places you know to make sure that i rinse this weight and get up and that's exactly what i'm gonna fucking do look if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? Yo. Let's go! Are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous But on the circus, he looks calm and ready To drop bombs, but he keeps on Forgetting what he wrote down The whole crowd goes so loud He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out He's choking how? Everybody's choking now, the clock's run out Time's up, over, cloud Snap back to reality Oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes gravity Choke, he's so mad, but he won't Give up baddies, he know he won't his whole back to these ropes, it don't matter, he's dope He knows that, but he's broke He's so stacked that he knows when he goes back to this mobile home That's when it's back to the lab again, yo Okay, last two, this is it now Big push This is where I have to really, really hype myself up Go deep into my brain And think about the past, think about all the hardships I've been through Everything that annoys me, everything that gets me going and fucking get this weight up. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere until I get these two sets. And that's the mindset you have to have. With this or with anything. If you want something, you go and you take it. My hands are shaking. Alright, last set. First set. First rep of that moves slow as fuck, but 
don't care. I've got to believe it. If I don't have it up here, I'm not going to get it. Now, the stuff I kind of like listen to when I'm doing these is not, you know, I have a wide range, like, taste of music, but when I'm here, you know, it's a lot more, like, rock, harder stuff, rap, because that's the kind of stuff that gets me going. You know, not everyone likes that stuff, that's fair enough. But again, for me, personally, for this, I need it. <sighs> kind of like people also do are like NF, Eminem, I Prevail, um, and some of the other bands, which um, my mates would probably slag me for, but I don't care, I need it. Now let's get this last set. Yeah, yeah, we fucking got it. <sighs> so, before we wrap up this video, there's a couple of things I want to touch on. First off, I know I'm talking a lot about mindset and it's quite aggressive and, you know, you might be getting really, like, buzzed from this video, but never sacrifice form, you know, for that hype. You know, technique always comes first. I'm a personal trainer, I'm a coach. Technique always comes first. You know, I'm pulling that weight, but I'm still doing it with the best form possible. If I felt, you know, if something went off, I wouldn't be able to get it off the ground at all. So if you're someone out there who wants to try deadlifts, you know, by all means, get hype, get focused, but work on your technique. Spend a good time working on your technique. I've been doing this a while now, so I don't want anyone going out there and just, you know, thinking, oh, I'll just walk up to the bar, rip it off the ground, because there is a technique to it. You know, there's diff two different stances you can choose. So, you know, practice it, get better at it, and then, you know, use that focus to take you further once you've got the form nailed. But I never really touched on what I actually think about exactly. And again, uh, they're not nice things. That's, you know, I believe that, you know, any athlete, any successful person, there's an extra side to them that drives them that maybe isn't, you know, all nice. Um, I think about my family. I think about my ambitions. I think about a lot of, you know, angst that I've had. I think of a lot of pain. I think about my dad, you know, um, and they're not nice things, but I use them in a positive way. I channel it. That's what I think in a lot of ways keeps me sane in some ways. Is that cringy to say? I don't care. I'm saying it anyway. It does. You know, training gives me something to channel all that rather than like sitting on my arse and being sad or whatever. And I, I say that to a lot of people I coach and a lot of people who have, you know, train or been through things like use that you know I've had clients come into me at night at the studio or online and be like I've had a bad day but I'm like use that you know don't view it as something to drag you down and say like right because of that I'm going to use that as fuel to go and train and get out because I promise you use that energy and you have a good session use that you know mindset you'll come out feeling so much better and all that will be gone like look at me now you know, you probably saw as the sets went on that I got more and more hyped, more pumped. I, you know, started swearing a bit more and stuff like that. And that's not the person I am, you know, throughout the day. I always use the example of a football player. Like, loads of football players on the pitch, they can be really aggressive, like completely different people. And then they come off it and they're really nice guys and people are always surprised by that. But that's, I think, what you have to be like. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it gave you a little bit more insight into kind of what goes on my head during training. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not always like, you know, but um, a lot of time that is what gets me to push further. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.